My days at CloudTame are really spent ingrained in the customer experience with the primary objective, objective of making our customers' cloud journey as easy and seamless as possible. Uh, and I hope to do a little bit of that today by showcasing a live demo of the concepts that Dave just introduced. And I know um, Forrest mentioned Murphy's Law, and Murphy really loves live demos. So hopefully he took the day off today, and uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll be good to go. So uh, for those of you who uh, are already familiar with CloudTamer, um, you'll recognize this as the first landing page or the overview page for when you log into CloudTamer. But you'll notice that we also have this new uh, addition to the main navigation bar here titled Savings Opportunities. Uh, so the first thing we see here with the Savings Opportunities is this dashboard. And it's designed to provide you a consolidated view of the potential savings for your organization across your multi-cloud, multi-master pair, and multi-tenant cloud presence. So we'll circle back to this demo in just a minute here, but I'd like to start by showing you how you actually enable or turn on savings opportunities. So that all begins here at under the settings. So we've intentionally designed savings opportunities to be enabled by simply clicking a button, right? So you just toggle this button on and choose the opportunities or checks that you want to run on the cloud accounts that you've associated and CloudTamer takes care of the rest, right? We'll go in, scan all your cloud accounts against again, what you've selected. Um, and then we'll show you those, those potential savings on that global view that I just mentioned. There's no need for you to go in, write custom policies or configure anything manually. Uh, and then as Dave mentioned during the introduction here, we have two types of checks that we're currently offering, uh, right sizing and then decommissioning. So you see here, we've got for right sizing currently showing EC2 and RDS and the CPU utilization over a certain time period. And then for decommissioning, we have multiple things across both AWS and Azure and a variety of different services, as you see here, ABS snapshots, EFS, and this list will continue to grow, right? Our goal with this is, this is kind of the first pass of what we're providing out of the box, um, but this list will continue to grow with every single release that we have so that we can meet more and more of the, the needs that the customers are bringing up with respect to savings opportunities. So if I circle back to this main dashboard, um, starting with the right sizing opportunities, we see here, right, we can see what the current type is or the instance type that's being utilized, what our recommendation is, and the, uh, the savings that you would see if you were to take this recommendation on. And we also have this card view here. And so this is designed to give you a lot more detail with respect to that specific check or finding that we've generated. So you'll see the description, right? What it is that we were looking for, the details around the resource ID. So what is it specifically that we found, the data was created, the region that it was found within, and then what our recommendations are here below. But you'll notice we also have these two drop downs. So we have cloud access, right? One of the things that we really pride ourselves at CloudTamer is the ability to take you from a finding or a check directly into that account, right? So, so reduce the, the in-between from finding something and remediating it or taking care of it, right? So we've intentionally designed this here where I can quickly click in here, choose my role, and you'll notice I'm taken directly to the AWS console. So there isn't any, you know, uh, moving around, figuring out, oh, what's my login? What account is this associated to? We've made that step very easy for you. And then once I've done that, I can come back in and say, yes, I've applied this opportunity, or it, you may want to dismiss this opportunity also. And then going back to the decommissioning, so very similar UI here, right? The ability to show kind of the findings and checks that we have here, the additional card view. So we've got similar findings here with respect to the data was created. Uh, this comes very handy. You might think like, you know, why, did I, why was this resource missed or what happened? We provide you the date created of that specific resource. So this may have been something that was done a long time ago um, that you no longer, uh, that you forgot about basically, right? We bring that to the forefront. And then as Dave mentioned, we have this additional capability to terminate resources directly from CloudTamer, right? So we don't wanna make it so that you have to again, go find out those accounts, have a different team potentially go in and take care of these actions for you. We give that right within the same UI at the line of that specific check that we have generated for you. And so once you've, uh, applied that opportunity, right? You've said, yep, I've taken care of it, or you've dismissed it. You might say, you know what? Um, I like my EC2s between 10 and 20% CPU utilization. No problem. You have the ability to, to dismiss that specific finding. Um, but if you do choose to apply those specific findings, we also have this UI here to now show you what your actual estimated savings are, right? So it's no longer theoretical. We're saying that, yes, if you've taken these actions, here's what you could be seeing, again, across the average of what we've shown. So we've intentionally taken this approach of an average monthly cost to cover the three previous months. So that if there's any spikes or abnormalities in your cloud spend, we've accounted for that. And we're not just showing you, you know, savings that aren't actually real. So what we've seen here has been at the global level, right? But you might say, I've got multiple tenants, I've got different people that have delegated access to different projects or accounts. 
We also have a very similar UI to what you've seen here at the project level. And projects are basically synonymous with cloud accounts, right? So one or any number of uh, AWS account, Azure subscription, this will also have the savings opportunity UI here. And all the functionality that I just showed at the global level is also available at this project level. So again, I can federate into these accounts. I can visualize this both on a monthly and an annual basis. And then if I circle back to the main dashboard here, right? So this is kind of in the center of the screen is where most people care about, right? What are my actual savings look like? So again, we've done this on a both a manual and a an, uh, monthly and an annual basis. And you'll notice, right, this is one of our sandbox environments. We're seeing roughly about 18% savings here. Um, our customers across both the commercial and Fed have seen anywhere from 20 to 40% savings across the different kind of scans that we've provided. Um, and then one actually really cool story that came out a couple of weeks ago, we were working with a customer. We had just stood up Cloud Tamer. Um, you know, we brought in one of their production environments and we basically, you know, continued on. We're doing some of the configuration. And then closer to the end of the call, I was like, hey, let's go to savings opportunities and take a look at, you know, what you've currently, or if there's anything that we can see right now. And the customer went in there and immediately he saw over $200,000 in potential savings. Right, so it, he was kind of thrown back, but the fact that that number was that large, but also this the prominent check that was generating most of the savings was for EBS snapshots. And it was the one that was checking for snapshots that are older than 60 days. And he was like, you know, there's, there's no way this is possible because I actually have a policy in place on the AWS side that's saying, hey, if it's beyond 30 days, I want you to go ahead and delete it, right? So he was a little bit skeptical about that finding being real. So we actually, again, use this direct federation into the cloud account and actually pinpointing those specific resources. And then we went to look at the policy that he had deployed and it turned out that he actually had it set to more than 90 days, right? So we were able to, to showcase that, hey, not only do you have this substantial amount of savings that you could, could see based on this one check on one production environment, um, but we also found an issue with their policy. So we went back in and actually configured a compliance check which would go in to scan to make sure that nothing exceeds that policy, right? So now that customer was able to leverage what typically would be two separate departments or two different parts of the organization, right? The security side of the house and the maybe the, uh, the folks that are responsible for finances and combine those two to not only continue to see more savings um, across the additional accounts that were brought in, but also the ability to have scans that run in there to make sure, yes, I've deployed this policy, but is it is it actually doing what I think it's doing, right? Or is it set to, set to some timeline um, or were there modifications made that no one really knew about? And now we've got all these savings that we could be uh, we could be seeing within the organization.